Good evening. Good afternoon. Actually, good evening, excuse me. <laughs> uh, let's put that over there. I want to um, continue on on what I was doing the last two parts about slavery and who we are. And then I want to move on to other things. But let's pay all due respects to the Creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. I am Chocolate Amon Ra. For those who, for the first time, have watched this video, I am Chocolate Amon Ra. I'm on YouTube. And if you want to watch some of my programs, you can watch Tight Down Chocolate Amon Ra Welcome. And then it will pop, pop up with a lot of my own programs. Interesting. They're interesting. They also basically is a message. And I'm not trying to be one of those people to be super intelligent and all that kind of stuff. I could do that if I choose to do so. But I'd rather be on a platform to everyone to understand clearly what I'm talking about. I'm not saying I'm going to be perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. It happens. But when I do, if, if I do, I'll correct it. If not, I'll see it when I watch over the, 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 the video anyways. But still, as long as my message got out, as long as someone got it and understand it, this is what it's all about. It's about helping our people, our black Nubian culture. Okay, we've been under duped underneath the white spell for too long. It's time to get out of it. It's time to, it's, it's, it's time to stop buying their clothing, going to their stores, their restaurants, drinking their food, drinking their liquids, eating their foods. It's time to stop all that. We have to put this in our minds and stop worshiping him. Don't you, you have to understand something? We are worshiping white people, literally. You think that you're not, but you're really worshiping him. Okay, even though they use our black Nubian culture and they use us very well, they hitting it so well that the fact that we don't even want to recognize it because you think you can't see it, but it's in our face. Literally. You have to understand about the enemy. The enemy always wants to be hidden. It does not want to be seen. The devil does not want to be seen. It always function on using other tactics to be able to get to the enemy and to destroy you. They don't want to destroy you 100% because if they destroy you 100%, who else they're going to attack? Who else they're going to use? They know that the black man and woman is the origin. Our organs and our bodies are the seed of internal life. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You don't believe what I'm about to tell you. Our organs are the seed of internal life. It always has been, it will always be. Any indigenous people that's been around for over 100 some years, you know that you're starting to find a lot of women. If you see it on different posts, one woman, one woman is 112, well, there's a lot of them that's like that. And let's go figure. You think they're in the hospital? You think they're constantly taking these drugs? You think they're constantly taking this man-made medicine? Huh? You think that? I don't believe it. Not in my, not in my suspicion, I don't believe it. So... Stating that is to let you know that the years we really supposed to be living. But where do they show white people living a hundred and something years old? 
Download this stuff. You got this instrument in front of you. Show me where a white person is living to be a hundred some years old. Show me. You got people here in America who's black. They don't want to tell you. 109, 108. Mm -hmm. You got indigenous people living to be 125. Okay? All these people are people of color. Yo, I told you the evidence is right in front of your face and a lot of times you don't want you don't want to know it. You don't want to understand it or believe in your own people. You want to continue believing the white man. So that's why I know you continue worshiping. You continue worshiping, you you are. This this is listen. Facts is facts. Let me get off of this now by getting back on to slavery. Now, a lot of y'all have to understand this. Who was our ancestors worshiping before slavery? We have to keep putting that out there because so many of y'all, you keep undermining these questions. Who was our ancestors worshiping before slavery. The Bible was created by white men. The Bible was created to direct your whole mindset, not you per se at the time, to believe that they are superior. It always has been this way. You don't understand that the white man's jealousy of the black man is so powerful. It is so powerful. Look what he done to the earth. He confused our people to drop down the key of life. The key of life is based on who we know who we are. The key of life is based on knowing who we know who we are. What foods to eat. What waters to drink. What minerals to use. The sun rays its power. The key of life are the five elements that we seem to just like, you don't want to have nothing about it, part of it. I'll use one, one simple one, the sun. The sun gives us all the power we need. Right? The melanin in our skin protects us from the sun, but the sun still gives us information, but the sun burns their skin. Most of y'all should already know that. Here we are, modern times, and most of y'all is going to agree or disagree. How in the world white people love the sun? Now, black people, on the other hand, they walk around talking about, I need my air condition on. They walk around talking about, oh my God, it's too hot outside. Tell me I'm lying. It's like a total reverse. If you start looking at white people, you ever notice they skin ain't burning as they used to be? All of a sudden, you see more black people talking about, oh, my skin is it's, it's hot. I'm getting, t it's, I feel like I'm burning. Pay attention when you're outside, when the summertime hits. Hmm? Especially those ones who's constantly under the air condition. This false cold air. Think about it. Think about it. Hmm? you rather stay in the house all day than go out at night. Because you feel like it's cooler. But if you go back in time, 
when there wasn't such thing, no air conditions. We wouldn't complain. It was, oh, it's hot. That's it. We jump in the shower, go outside and play all day. Nobody cared about the heat. Now, all of a sudden, you worrying about the heat. That's not what. That's not who we are. We the sun people. We the sun gods. Now, I state this to give you a point. Religion destroyed us. When he took this Bible. Excuse me. When they took this Bible. And they begin to read the scriptures in the Bible. They begin to dec decipher words. And then they begin to imprint their own words. They begin to tell you. Tell you what they want to tell you. The first Bible was a, a New World Translation. This is the King James Version. That's the reason why I brought two Bibles out. Just to let you know that I have several Bibles. Okay? I'll be right back. You see? The New International Version. You understand? The Bible Study Commentary. The New International Commentary. You understand this. Is a reason why I have several different Bibles. And then of course on this device, I have many different Bibles. But it's a reason why I do that. I want you to understand, brothers and sisters. I truly do. I want you to understand that you live in a lie. You have to understand that when these people put our ancestors in raped, killed, um, in many different ways, and destroyed our homes for a profit, for a profit, money, human trafficking is for money. Is to use people so you don't have to pay them. They used our people. And when they did it, they had no problems of destroying you. Because in their mind, I own you. And some of you to this day. Some of to this day, you don't believe this. You don't believe it. You're suffering. Because you love this white man so much. You love him even in today's church. Today's church, go to any one of these white churches. They don't sit there and tell you that Jesus is, is a black man. Go to any white church. Wherever you from, go to these white churches. Look at the images they put up. And so many of our peoples go to these churches and you believe. White people only been on this planet for 6,000 years. Check my post out. I'm showing you these false religions and man-made religion. Man-made religion, though. The, the, the one that been there, I think, the longest was 16-something, 16 16 1600. But from the 1600s. You got from 1600s to 1800s, 1901. These religions haven't been here that long. No, these concepts have, have not been here that long. But our African spirituality, our African system has been here for thousands of years. And you constantly go against it. You constantly go against who you are because you want to settle for them. You go against your own peoples like it's no tomorrow. You don't believe in who you are. Brothers and sisters, because of time consuming, I am going to stop part three and move on. I am Chocolate Almond Raw. This is the message.